let's talk about one of my favorite topics, how much the Grammys suck. At least that's what I'm guessing via our friends at Loudwire. Make sure you support Loudwire because if they didn't publish articles like this, then trash YouTubers such as myself would have no content to react to. So shout out to the folks at Loudwire. They have published the list of every 2023 rock and metal Grammy nominee revealed. I've not read these yet, but I'm guessing that they're probably not great. Let's see if I am right. The 2023 Grammy Award nominees were revealed Tuesday, including those in the rock and metal categories. After the nominees were read, it's looking like a potentially big year for acts such as Brandy Carlisle, Ozzy Osbourne, Turnstile, The Black Keys, Idols, Wet Leg, and Robert Plant. These will take place Sunday, February 5th at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. Well, if the Crypto.com Arena still exists by then, because uh, in case you haven't heard, Crypto not doing great these days. So by then, it'll probably get bought out by Flashlight or something like that. They'll get a deal on it. I, for one, look forward to going to the Grammy Awards at the Flashlight Arena on February 5th. <laughs> okay, best rock performance. Brian Adams, so happy it hurts. Okay, this is one I, I, I did not even know Brian Adams still made music. This guy's got to be like 60 now. He had a hit song, like Summer of 69. That was a big song when I was like nine and then uh, everything i do that was a big song when i was in eighth grade and that was 1992 so that's how long brian adams has been around this driving down trans canada one all right problem number one this song sucks problem number two how can you possibly take a song seriously where the first line is about driving across canada Come on, Canada. Top down, I got the radio on, all right. We're gonna get there tonight. All right, listen, shout out to Brian Adams. He seems like a perfectly nice guy, um, but uh, this is what they're nominating for rock Grammys these days. This is my friends. This is what gets nominated for a damn Grammy these days. Whew, okay, Back Old Man. I don't know that song either. Let's check it out. Appropriately named, because again, Beck was big when I was in ninth grade, which was 1993. One, so, appropriate two. title. Oh, it's a Neil Young cover, okay. Uh, all right, uh, fine, Black Keys, whatever. Uh, Brandy Carlisle, Broken Horses. I don't think I know this song either. Oh, okay, yeah, I know this song. She's a good singer, uh, but really? I mean, really? Best rock performer, all right. Idols, Crawl, I don't like Idols, personally, but at least they're kind of current. Like, I, that's the kind of artist who should be nominated, in my opinion, although I'm not, I'm not personally a fan, but I, I back it. Ozzy Osbourne featuring Jeff Beck, patient number nine. Listen, shout out to Ozzy, absolute legend, icon nobody will ever take that away from him same with jeff beck but i mean the man is in his 70s uh is it not time to move on from giving ozzy grammys i mean again nothing but respect for ozzy but when are we gonna get past like the 80s and 90s I, I just, when and then turnstile uh also so i mean obviously great to see them nominated again that's the kind of artist that i think should be nominated you know they've been around for what 10 or 12 years now so yeah maybe 12 years something like that they've been around for a little while but clearly in the past year or two they've leveled up i mean this is the song from the taco bell commercial so clearly that's how it works if you want to get nominated for a grammy you got to be in the Taco Bell commercial, but shout out to Turnstile. Very happy to see that. So I would say Turnstile and Idols, those are the kind of artists that I would like to see nominated for Grammys with all due respect to some of these older artists. You know, they have had their time in the spotlight. I think it's time to move on, but it is cool to see Idols and Turnstile in there. So I will, I will back them. Next, we have best metal performance, Ghost, Call Me Little Sunshine. Let's check this one out. Hell yeah. This song, but worse. Yeah, I, I would have expected, um, if you're going to nominate uh, Ghost, I would have expected the TikTok song, the uh, Mary on a Cross, for one, because it's a better song, two, because that was obviously like 
the most relevant Ghost song probably ever, right? You would have thought if they were going to nominate Ghost in the current year, which I, I back. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Ghost, but I do like them. Still, they are the type of band that I absolutely think should get nominated for a Grammy. You know, they're relatively young. They've been around for like 10 years. They've certainly had a breakout moment in the past year. For example, you may have seen Mariana Cross was big on TikTok. So that makes perfect sense to me. I might have put them maybe more in the rock category than metal, but whatever. Not necessarily the choice of song that I would have gone with, but I back it. I, I back it. I think they are a good pick. Uh, Megadeth will be back. I am absolutely baffled at how many people continue to listen to Megadeth. Just baffled. Um, <sighs> baffled. Okay, that Ghost song was released in 2019. All right. Where are the lyrics? Holy Wars is a great song, I agree. Yeah, it sounds like every other Megadeth song. If I heard this in 1985, this probably would have been my favorite thing. But, you know, the band has been around for like 40 years. Is it a bad song? No, but there's certainly probably a lot of other people that probably should have been nominated. I mean, again, Spirit Box, I, I would say is like an obvious one. Lorna Shore would be another obvious one. You know, you could say Ice Nine Kills. I mean, there's just so many more relevant metal artists in the current year than Megadeth. Muse, Kill or Be Killed. Yeah, I mean, Muse, that's fine. I, that's fine. I think they're a little bit past their prime. So to me, I would say they're a little bit on the older side, but Muse is fine. Ozzy Osbourne featuring Tony Iommi, Degradation Rules. Uh, listen, it's hard for me to complain about Ozzy being nominated for anything metal because he is Ozzy after all. So, you know, uh, clearly... You know, he's on the back half of his career, but can't really complain about Ozzy getting nominated for anything metal, I guess. And then Turnstile, Blackout in the metal performance. So nominated for rock and metal. Let's listen to this. I, I, I wouldn't call Turnstile metal. I do like this song. And I guess I guess I can see how, you know, the Grammy types might consider this metal. Yeah, a 10 year old hardcore band means young blood and rock. It's true. I do like this song. So a cool song. Would I call it metal? Probably not, but either way, whatever. I'm not complaining. Glad to see Turnstile nominated for two Grammys. Uh, and then best rock song, Turnstile in here again. We've got Blackout also nominated with metal and rock. Can you nominate the same song in two categories like this? I guess you can. So seems very likely that Turnstile is going to win some sort of a Grammy then. Also, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Black Summer. Listen, Red Hot Chili Peppers are absolutely horrible. Horrible. I'm sorry. Every time I say this, people get on my case. I love everything the Red Hot Chili Peppers did up through and including Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Everything after that to me is bad. The new stuff is absolutely unlistenable. I cannot believe that anybody thinks that this is good. I forget if this is the song. Is this, yo, this is the one. China's on the dark side of <laughs> What is that? The dark side. Like, where does this weird Irish, like fake Irish accent come from? The dark side. Everyone in this band is a brilliant musician. Um, Anthony Kiedis is really the weak link. But this song fucking sucks. It's terrible. Like, who is out there, like, writing for the Red Hot Chili Peppers in 2022? War on Drugs, Ozzy Osbourne again. Okay, I mean, Turnstile is the only one in that category where I feel like that's a real solid pick. Best Rock Album, Black Keys. All right, fine, I guess. Elvis Costello. How old is this guy? 68. Listen, when I criticize the Grammys for nominating people who are really old, it's there's nothing wrong with being old. I am an old. So as a fellow old, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being old. What I'm saying is that I believe that part of the Grammys mission should be to represent like what is relevant and important in the current year. I mean, I don't think that they have actually said that but that should be part of their mission and i'm sorry but in popular music maybe it's different in classical or opera or whatever but in rock and metal if you're like 70 years old it's impossible for you to be on the cutting edge of what's relevant and i believe that that's what the grammys should be representing by that standard elvis costello seems like a cool guy super talented 
But I mean, we're nominating people in their 60s and 70s. I just, I, I don't get it. We've also got Idols. Okay, I think that's a solid pick. MGK, mainstream sellout. I am not a fan of MGK as a human or his music, but this man absolutely 100% should have a nomination for this album because it went to number one and like it or not he is one of the most relevant people in rock it's just a fact so at least shout out to them for nominating mgk um because he should be nominated as much as i dislike him and also because i know how angry it's gonna make everybody if he wins and i'm just saying oh i can't wait to make a video called machine gun kelly wins grammy for best rock album and just watch all those views come in be like baby we're going out to dinner tonight it's gonna be a good month because mgk did something that means i'm gonna get tons of views anytime mgk does something that means i make money so i'm happy spoon all right that seems like an odd one best alternative music album so it seems like when they say alternative what they really mean is indie so they've got arcade fire big thief bjork wet leg and the yeah yeah yeahs i'm not an expert on this stuff bjork obviously is super talented but uh you know she's she's definitely in the back half of her career as well yeah yeah yeahs very good band karen o seems like a cool person but you know there's got to be something i'm not an expert on indie so i don't know but there's got to be something else that's maybe a little bit more relevant than the yeah yeah yeahs who have been around for like 25 years or something i don't know who big thief is but i'll take your word for it best alternative music performance Again, pretty much the same people. Arctic Monkeys, Big Thief, Florence the Machine, Wet Leg, and the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. Uh, I don't have a lot to say about that that I didn't already. Record of the year. We've got ABBA, Adele, Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, Brandi Carlisle, Doja Cat, Steve Lucy, Kendrick Lamar, Lizzo, Harry Styles. These seem fine, I guess. You know, ABBA being nominated in the current year is a little bit weird considering that they were around in the 70s. I don't like Harry Styles. He seems like a really obnoxious person that I would not like to be around, but uh, I'll go with that. I would be fine if Harry Styles won this one. I think uh, As It Was is a great song, super popular, just crushed it. So I feel like either Harry Styles or Lizzo would both be good picks. Here's one that I'm excited about. Song of the Year, Gale, ABCDEFU by Gale uh, was nominated. I really hope this wins for a couple reasons. Number one, because I think that she's sort of alternative adjacent. So like, that's what I think of. When I think of alternative, I don't think of indie. I think of people like Gail and Olivia Rodrigo or Maggie Lindemann, who are kind of, you know, on the edge of like normie and edgy, who will get a lot of people, especially, you know, like young girls into this kind of music, which I think is a good thing. I also think it's a great song and she's like, what, 17, 18? So I think it's cool to see anybody that young get recognized as they should. So to me, that is a great example of the kind of thing that the Grammys should be representing. You know, does fucking Beyonce need another award? No, Beyonce is good. Does Taylor Swift need another award? No, she's good. I think uh, Gail, do you guys know this song? I mean, if you've been to like a gym or a grocery store, you probably heard this song, but if you haven't, here it is. Yeah, I think it's a great song, um, and so I'm excited to see that. So all in all, I mean, it's pretty much what I expected. I feel like every time the Grammys come up, I say the same things, um, and it's because I don't really know what else to say. I mean, there are some nice surprises in here. Turnstile definitely deserves to be in here. I think Idols is a good pick as well. Ghost, I, would, I'm, I back that. Just... Eh. We keep seeing the same things, especially in rock and metal. It's just the same old artists from like the, the 80s, 90s, sometimes even the 70s. And, uh, you know, my, my thought is just like, can we please move on? No disrespect to any of them, but can we not move on? It's a problem. I've said this a million times, but this tendency for rock to be stuck so firmly in the past is not healthy for the genre and i don't think it's healthy for the grammys either i mean less and less people care about the grammys every year because i mean if the only people who care about the artists are in their 40s or 50s listen we're old we're dying out here <laughs> we're dying i'm gonna die of old age by the time the grammys pick an artist that's actually relevant in the current year to win a metal Grammy. That's the problem. So that's right. It's time for Eddie Cochran to get a Grammy. Exactly. So I don't know. I feel like he keeps saying the same thing over and over again, but 
There it is. The 2023 Rock and Metal Grammy nominees are here via our friends at Loudwire. Make sure you support them as well. In a few years, the Grammys will be canceled because all the nominations will be dead. Well, it's true. It's true. It's true.